Hello, this is Joe Rule 111. Um, a super quick, hopefully, <laughs> super quick guide to getting PSX for all 3.0 on your iPhone 4 or iPhone 3GS. Um, the first thing you want to do, if you have the latest downloaded version of PSX for all, which is like 4. Point something, uh, first thing you do is uninstall it completely off your iPhone because you don't want it. Um, so completely uninstall it. And then the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, type in iPhone folders, okay? This will all be in the description, uh, step by step, if you get lost. Uh, click on iPhone folders, it will come up with this play page, click download, okay? Okay, next, install it. And that will come up with this iPhone folders. Double click, and this will let you go into your iPhone, all the folders and everything. Oh, you probably won't need to go in most of them, but anyway, click on your iPhone folder and then go into VAR. V A R. Wait for it to load. Then go to mobile. Then go into media. Okay, now stop here. The first thing you want to do is create a folder called Cydia with a capital C. Then inside that, create another folder called Auto Install with a capital A and a capital I. This will also be in the description. Now double click in that. This folder will be blank because you haven't put anything in it. Okay, there'll be a link in the description. Um, for the PSX for all 3.0 download, um, it will come up with this. Okay, so click the link, it will come up with this. Okay, which is the download you need. Click download here. Wait for it to load, it will come up with a pop up. Okay, now click download the blue download. Then wait 20 seconds and it will start the download. If not, click here. Da, 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 da. But you probably have to pay if you click here. Just wait for the time to come down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, bleh, bleh. Okay, now click download file. Download it. It should take less than 10 seconds to download, more than likely. Um, and it will come up with this folder here, PS, PSX for all 3.00.deb. Okay, now what you want to do, open your iPhone folder where you were before. Inside the Cydia folder and then inside the auto install folder, what you want to do is drag across the, the thing you just downloaded, the PSX for all 3.0 dot deb into the auto install folder which is here okay now exit back exit back exit back just close this now what you want to do um, you want to go disconnect it from your computer go into your iPhone and what you want to do is respring your iPhone and then reboot it okay if you don't know how to respring your iPhone, go into Cydia in your iPhone. Um, just type in respring in search and it will come up with an application where you literally just click the application it resprings your iPhone for you. Um, if you then after that, that will take about 10 seconds. Then after that, you want to re, um, reboot it, reboot your iPhone. You click the only two buttons there are. You click the top one to shut down and you also click the home button and you hold that down for about 10 seconds the screen will go blank and if you hold it for another about five seconds the apple logo will come up that uh, the reboot will probably take a couple of minutes depending on how much space you got on your iphone if you don't know how to do that uh, and you're getting confused type it in google um, type it in youtube and there'll be videos showing you how to reboot and to respring your iphone if you get confused, because it does get a bit confusing. Um, then, automatically, once you've resprung and um, rebooted your iPhone, 
the PSX for all application will automatically be on your home page, okay? Um, and it will be the version 3.0. Now, if you get confused or it lost and it doesn't work, then message me. Um, it, but if you follow my directions exactly, then it should work every time. There's no chance it will fail unless, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it should definitely work. Um, if you want to find out how to get games on there, Pacific games like Final Fantasy 7 with three discs, um, I'll probably put that in another review altogether because it's quite... Um, that's another confusing matter, which I won't get into. But... Um, yeah, that is a review how to get PSX for all 3.0 on your iPhone 4. Um, everything will be in the description, so if you get lost, don't worry about it. Just look in the description and you can um, just follow step by step. Alright guys, see you later.